Hello, hello, and we're back. Hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm not at all. I'm, I'm actually doing really bad, but <laughs> here I am, and hopefully Kate Bush can make me feel better. Uh, we're going to be finishing up uh, side two of Hounds of Love. Um, yeah. We have three tracks left. The first one is called... Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, wait a second. I can just tell you all three from this. Uh, it's Jake of Life, Hello Earth, and The Morning Fog. Uh, we did the first four or five. I, I, was it three? I don't even remember if it was like three or four tracks, but um, we did those last week. Um, this is a request from our patron, Lee S. Thank you for your support, Lee. I truly appreciate it. Um, this has been one hell of a journey so far. Um, I never knew anything about Kate, and Kate until, you know, uh, Running Up That Hill got popular again. And I heard that song and I absolutely loved it. Um, and then I started, you know, listening to other stuff on here because of, you know, you guys. And this has been one hell of an introduction, you know, really, because I wouldn't count the last song, like the only song we've done by her other than this as an introduction, because like it was another big famous song of hers. I, f I find like the real meat on the bone is when you dive into the stuff that's kind of off the beaten path or, you know, fan favorite kind of stuff like this is. And the first four songs were just uh, absolutely fantastic. And I look forward to these last three. So thank you again, Lee. Um, do I have my thing up? I do. See, this is what an album. This is like a behemoth of an album because it starts up with running up that hill. Then side two is the ninth wave. So yeah, we did the first four and this is the last three so here we go thank you again lee fellow lee let's do this and if y'all aren't subscribed uh yeah click that button leave a like too maybe i'll do more kate all right Jacob of life three two one go Hello, waking the witch lady. blew my fucking mind last time What a fucking thing, bro. for a little jig real quick. That's what it's called, right? Pop is such a cool genre, dude. I fucking love it. You can literally do anything. And it wouldn't, you know, no one would second guess you at all. <laughs> This moment 
so inspirational in points. It really does. It makes you feel like you can do anything. I said I like the music that challenges me. This music is challenging me. Internal conflict raging right now.
I'm always wondering what she's gonna do next. It's gonna just make me feel whatever. <laughs> She just shoves a mirror right in front of your face. Take a look. Shit's powerful, dude. Let you sit with it for the rest of the song. That's crazy. Did she survive? I don't know. That's the end. I wish it kept going. <laughs> Man. What is the... Wow. I don't even know how to describe that. It's just like a roller coaster, basically. Like, <laughs> you start one place, you go to another, you go to another, you go to another. It's just, it's all over the place. Um, Hello Earth, man. Like, that... That shit hit deep, bro. Like... On another, uh, <clears throat> mm, excuse me, on another level, man. It really did. It just 
hit me really, really deep. It kind of just, like I said, it just kind of shoves a mirror in your face and it's like, are you happy? Is this what you want? You know, and is this what you want it out of life? And it kind of just, you know, just for a second or two there, it kind of felt like I <laughs> broke the spell I was under, you know, I don't know how to explain it. And I kind of just like noticed everything in a different perspective for a second there. I don't know how to explain it other than that, but I don't know. I've had that happen before a couple times where music or something around me, will just make me kind of, if it's me, I don't know if it's like disassociating or I, I actually am like, you know, seeing other things. I don't know, but it, it's just sort of like, I see it. Like if I looked at this, you know, drink bottle right here, it would just look different than it did before. You know, I just noticed weird shit like that. Um, I think Kate is one, <laughs> one hell of an artist. And I'm glad that we really, that we did this because I really want to like dive into her stuff now. Um, it's hard to get, like, I feel like I'm almost, at first, I was really easy to get with the emotional stuff on here, but I've, I've come, I've become very emotionally, uh, what's the word, um, tolerant, I guess, on this. Like, it, it, it takes a lot for me to tear up and actually feel something, um, and God, I felt it in that, that one section in Hello Earth. I felt it. I wish that section went on for five minutes, but it lasted like a minute, if that, and it was just gone in the wind. Just reminds me of, I don't know, when you're young, you know, and you have that like boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, you're like eight years old, nine years old, and you have like a, I don't know, your little friend that you're friends with, and you, you know, I don't know, and you're like, whatever happened to them? That met this girl on a bus when I was like eight years old. I was in Hawaii, and I remember we would we were singing um, the meow 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 song. Uh, yeah, I must have been seven, and we were just me and this girl and this little girl we were just driving in this bus, you know. And it's just like the random memories like that that just stick with you for life. Like you never know what memory your kids are gonna remember for the rest of their lives. It could be this moment. It could be the next. You never know. I, it, I don't know. And this, you know, this, this album side is, um, I don't know. It, like I've been around women my whole life. I was raised by my mom, basically. My dad died when I was like eight. And, um, so I basically was, you know, just me and my mom, my family now, two girls and then my girlfriend. So I've just always been around women and I don't know. I kind of, I just understand women a little better than men, most men. I think, uh, but I still have no idea, you know, like I, I just kind of have a concept. I don't have a theory yet, you know, with women. I, I get it, but I don't. I think that's every guy, though. But I just have a special experience because, you know, I've been around women my whole life, basically. And uh, well, they're uh, wonderful creatures and they want to be, you know, <laughs> just like dudes. We're all just fickle fucks, as I call them, as, as I say on here, you know, fickle as hell. But we got to find the right one and, you know, shack up with them and make some babies and have a family and live your life, you know? Um, but I feel like this, this, you know, side of it, 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 you guys said it's, you know, a girl drowning and being saved from being, you know, from drowning. And you can feel it throughout, like, I, like spiritually, physically, and emotionally. There's like three different levels to this. Like there's a lot of layers to it and I'd have to listen to it another like time or two all the way through like at once to really get the actual feel from it. The only reason I split it up is because YouTube is silly and uh, I can only do four songs basically. That's the max I can do without it being blocked for 30 days. So I, that's kind of silly. So I just have to do it this way. Um, I wish I could do it all at once, but those last three, man, definitely great. Thank you, Lee fellow Lee. I appreciate you. Um, that was one hell of a ride. And I hope that uh, everybody enjoyed that. I know it was kind of a strange day, but I had, um, yeah, I, I already recorded an entire night's worth of stuff and it all just uh, got deleted, let's say. So um, I had to scramble for a couple tracks just to do for you guys because it basically happened in the you know, middle of the night. <laughs> so uh, hopefully you all enjoyed that. Sorry if I don't have more to say, but I think Kate is, I don't know. I've only listened to eight or nine songs of hers, if that, but she is one of a kind. Like, the, I've never heard anything like her. And her voice really does it, too, though. Like, the way that she sings, obviously, her voice, but 
the placement of the instrumental, the space that she leaves open for the instruments to breathe and the actual just long passages of just nothing almost at points where it's just, it's a lot, man. Like she is prolific. Like that's such a perfect word for her. Like just the way, even if it's pop music, like this was, this was y'all's pop music. Like come the fuck on. What the hell did I get stuck with? Like it makes me so mad, bro. But it's, I'm glad I get to listen to it now, at least. And I'm glad that you guys got to enjoy it back in the day. But it makes me mad that this is y'all's pop music. And, you know, I mean, I know I know this probably wasn't on the radio. This, you know, side of the album. The other side, maybe. But I don't know. I doubt they put Waking the Witch on the radio. <laughs> if they did, that would be hardcore as hell. Um, but I think that's it out of me, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I, it, it was so for... Technically, this is what tracks six through twelve. Um, John Williams did guitars on "Morning Fog." Uh, it's really this this like personnel list is really fucked up. So Alan Murphy did guitar on none of these tracks. <laughs> Shit, man! It's basically Kate Bush on vocals, the Fairlight synthesizer, the Yamaha CS80 acoustic piano and keyboards for her. Del Palmer did a bunch of stuff. He did a guitar bass on a bunch of tracks for us. Uh, the ones we listened to today. Um, anybody else? Stuart Elliott did the drums for the, yeah, for all the tracks except for Jig of Life. Jig of Life was Charlie Morgan. Um, and then Liam O'Flynn did the Ulean pipes on tracks jig of life and hello earth there's so much stuff man so many people um i thought that was fantastic she used the choirs and stuff too like the vocal arrangements for that was fantastic it's i could just go on and on but i'm not going to keep you all here all night and i got to render these videos before it hits one o'clock in the morning and i've i don't mind i can't say that on youtube or i get demonetized and i'm just being hyperbolic it's okay it's not a big deal um but yeah i literally recorded an hour and a half or uh, an hour and 45 minutes worth of shit. And there was no, no sound at all. <laughs> the mic wasn't turned on. Gotta love my life. Patreon right there. There's a link in the description. Uh, if you join the $15 tier up, you get one free request a month. Join any of the tiers, you get access to all of our block videos and full album reactions. I promise I'm usually more peppier. It's just been a really long day and it just got, even longer and you know what i mean and uh, <laughs> i i just uh these videos are usually like my solace from my life and other stuff outside of it but when it becomes the not solace it really really ticks me off so i'm sorry if i seem like i'm in a bad mood because i am but i'm trying to keep it under control for at least for you guys um thank you for watching there's also a paypal and cash app as well in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way See you later.